What if I told you there was a decentralized platform that could really compete with YouTube? You guys can see right here, we're gonna be talking about Theta Labs today. Now, if you've never ever heard of Theta Labs, I myself hold some Theta, but I wanna tell you guys about a new development that's actually happening involving the US government, but again, a platform that could possibly be in comparison and comp competition with YouTube. Now, if this is the first time you're hearing my voice, my name is Ted Talk Money. We're really about being a, you know, welcome to live capital. We're really about making sure that you guys understand that life is for the taking. Theta has been awarded a US patent for decentralized edge storage for flexible file sharding. Now, I want you all to see this word here. Sharding is really important, might be a funny word for you, but sharding is important in developing development for the blockchain because what it does is exactly this breaks up each and every parts of these datas or each and every part of data on a blockchain into a package or a, a shard that allows for a, a much faster throughput. So I want you to see here that this approval follows previous patents, which Theta, which allowed Theta to issue decentralized data streaming and delivery. Keep that in mind, you know, as we're moving far and farther away from centralization, decentralization for video sharing is is important so ultra high transaction throughput micro payments uh preventing denial of service attacks in decentralized edge networks all of these things came to protect Theta's technology. So I want to talk with you guys about a few different things that actually happened from this, you know, so you can have a better understanding of how Theta works. An edge store node not only stores permanent data shards as are assigned to it, but it also caches the popular content locally. That development right there is going to add to storage capabilities, guys. My point, we're here about talking about cryptos that are going to be here for a long time. And this development here, this approval, of course, by a patent really works out for longevity. We foresee that a wider range of decentralized applications can be built on top of Theta's edge store involving uh, including but is not limited to the following permanent storage of nfts permanent storage of nfts guys think about that think about that data availment for layer two scaling solutions such as who roll-ups you guys see that all you know a lot it's really important now for zk roll-ups zero knowledge roll-ups because again you have all of these scaling solutions for really ethereum so guys this is just a really a, a big development that's happened here to store a file in a decentralized network using file sharding a source node in the decentralized network first divides the file into a, a plurality or like i said breaks it into shards of file portions the source node then transmits each given file to the corresponding uh, peer node and generates file editors on, uh, of the file. Long story short, you can see here all of the development that will happen. I just like the fact that you're seeing all of this, this edge technology for video sharing for file sharing. You can see here for even smartphones, uh, the desktop or a laptop, uh, even from a single server, they can have these uh, self-organization plug and play. So I got to looking and digging, in my, digging into the market. What are we looking into here? By 2030, you're looking at about an $18.3 billion market for file sharing. Now, at the time of this recording, Theta, you could see is 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 um, listed at about a dollar four, but its market cap is here at a billion. Let's check out their website. Firstly, you can see here Web3 blockchain infrastructure for video, media, and inter, uh, and entertainment. You can see they've had quite a few different uh, involvements here, but I want you to see some of the breakdown for the infrastructure, okay? First off, Web3 video API. That would be your quasi-YouTube. Remember, we said this might be something that could compete with YouTube, and everything will be sent to a highly scalable blockchain. You have to understand that Theta itself is a coin. We're talking about a layer one here folks not just a platform now nextly on the other side nfts with drm or developers or content creators they can monetize their content and their ip and secure their digital rights guys i'm telling you we're moving into a a, a phase of a level playing field and for a good reason so you can see here that a global edge network again will be connected to this meta chain and as well you'll have enterprise validators again you can have uh, look at some of the names 
games that actually back this, guys. You can see here even uh, American Idol had some things to say about Theta. Let's see who else. You have uh, Google. Google is impressed with Theta's achievements as well as Sony. Sony is impressed and shares uh, Theta's network's passion towards decentralized technologies. So heads up, Sony is working with blockchain technologies. Keep that in mind. And so again, at the time of this recording, you could see Theta is just creeping on up to a dollar. You can see um, at the time of this recording, who's taking on most of the volume? Big. Binance and as well BitTrue. So if you have any any accounts with Binance or BitTrue, you can work it out that way. I believe Uphold also has uh, has uh, Theta available for you as well. This thing is listed just about everywhere. If you really want to look at an overall uh, overview of this asset. You can see that it's been in operation since 2018. You can see an all-time high has been achieved of around about $13, $13 on each and every Theta, Theta coin. So keep that in mind. Now, there's an, another coin here that you guys might be asking about called Theta Fuel, which is a little bit cheaper. You can see if you want to get grab yourself some, uh, this is going to act as really the second utility coin on the Theta blockchain. You can see here Theta Fuel, T Fuel is going to be the second token, uh, the native token, if you will, for the blockchain T fuel is not going to be mistaken for the theta token. All right, the theta token is the governance token. T fuel then is going to act as gas. All right, you could see that just looking at this on the overall, you could see we were able to reach a overall of around six or about fifty, about fifty nine cents uh, each theta fuel. So since then we've bottomed out, and you could see that since launch it's at its real true price. So really, I'm really bullish on the decentralization of file sharing. Uh, of course, let us know in the comments how you guys feel. There's other uh, other uh, digital assets that are out there, but we want you guys to keep that in mind. Again, let's really go over this. Theta recently just had a big, big development and approval to its technology that's going to really help with the with this infrastructure here. Again, guys, you have to keep in mind that it's really about maintaining this infrastructure for you to really have a platform that's actually going to be taken seriously and that can compete with YouTube in the future. But guys, I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. If you're interested in grabbing yourself some uh, Theta, like I said, you can really grab yourself some on BitTrue. And I, let me tell you guys where you can grab yourself some T-Fuel. It's listed different places see crypto.com there is a link in our description as well for bing x you can grab some i believe on bing x as well you could see bing x for your t fuel but guys i really think this thing really does have uh, a future for content creation and as well for decentralization appreciate you guys making it to this part i'll holler at you later peace